media and technology here at IU. Awesome look. Yeah, and they've done a great job of putting thousands of small cameras into this venue to be able to come up with that. A lot of NBA arenas are going to that technology now. 28 cameras all together that make up that 3D view. I mean, I, I don't understand how it works, but it's really impressive. Uh, you know, if, if it's anything to do with technology and something cutting edge, Mark Cuban <laughs> is going to have something to say about it. That was Howard's first field goal the second half a moment ago, and then Curtis Jones can't hit from deep. Jones has been quiet. Eight minutes tonight, that's the first shot he's put up. Speaking of shots being put up, Three-pointer dropping down to make it a 12-point game as R.J. Cole connects. Well, R.J. Cole took a, a little chance right there before the defense got set and was able to drain it. Gives his team a little bit more juice. Cole now has 17 to lead all scores. Trying to even it on the other end. That was flat all the way from Aljamie Durham. Trying to look for his shot. Really not trying to give it up. Well, tease, he'll fire from anywhere. And how about that? It gets stuck. Jump ball. The arrow the other way. That's the second one of the game. We've seen quite a few things that are a little unusual here this evening. <laughs> well, tease hit his first three three pointers tonight. This one, not so much. You well, we get talked about by your teammates in film session next day on that one. They're going to they're have fun up with that one. But Tease has been pretty impressive here tonight. Especially in the first half, able to get his shots off. I mean, that's that's construction level right there. <laughs> and beautiful location of the IU logo as well. Yeah. Inside, there's a nice reverse from Deron Davis. He does a good job. He did it against Indiana State using that basket as a defender. Move yep. to the other side. Yep. Well, he can't just go up and dunk it. You're exactly right. And that's important. And there he's blocking a shot. Up ahead, Jones. Leaving for Durham. That was with his offhand. That was with his right hand going full speed. This young man's got tremendous upside. Indiana playing a little bit more free. Speaking oh, of playing free. That hit the ceiling and dropped down for Kyle Foster. Oh, Foster got the neon green light from his head coach. Another touch on the block. And that will send Freddie McSwain to the strike. Well, we thought Howard would come in and play free, and, and they have. They haven't been scared on the offensive end. They haven't. You referenced uh, their tough game, their first game of the season against George Washington. And I think they got a lot of confidence from that. And then they come in here and play in free early on, so... They're proving to be more pesky, maybe, than Indiana expected. That George Washington game, they were only down four with a minute left. And I'm not saying George Washington is Duke, but that's a good team and a good conference. First game on the road. Right. And, you know, funny things happen at the beginning of the college season. I mean, teams, especially like Indiana with a new coach, new system, they're trying to figure themselves out, trying to figure their new roles. And so sometimes you get a team like Howard coming in playing free. Give me some problems. 13 point game with 13 13 remaining. Lost it. That's going to be a travel. Jalen Jones had a good window to the basket, but he could not pick up the ball. And it's good to see Jalen back on the floor. Remember, he got hit in the eye, and his eye is still swollen. Yeah, it, it just doesn't seem fully open. You're exactly right. Playing like a got a little jab up there, like a like a boxer trying to rock and get that get that eyelid cut to keep going. <laughs> cut me, Nick. That's right. Well, Jalen Jones, a guy who's battled injuries throughout his career. Good thing at least they have him on the floor. Oh, that was nice shot, Deron Davis. I, mean, I don't know if that was in his arsenal last year. I agree, and you know, to, to show the touch in that situation by Victor, that's impressive. Corner triple off the mark. Nate Garvey, that was his first shot attempt of the night. Freddie McSwain, I think he had dreams of going up and throwing that down with the right hand, but he lost it. And then Cole the other way. After the make, Kevin Nickelberry is going to take a timeout.